Hello and welcome, Rachel Claire, thebolderpsychic.com. So glad to have you here. I am the creator of this group. I am the one who curates this group. And if you are new here because we've had so many sisters finding us and flowing in, then welcome. I'm so glad to have you as part of the group, the crew, the sisterhood. And I love it because people are waking up to their gifts. People are coming alive. People are having precognitive dreams. People are realizing their empaths. Welcome to the party. Okay. So I'm Rachel Clare. I'm a clairvoyant healer. I didn't always used to be a clairvoyant healer. I was a public school teacher. I started to have precognitive dreams. I realized I was empathic. Fast forward and I followed the energy toward creating my business as the Boulder Psychic. So this group is here for you. My work is here for you. If you are intuitive, if you are empathic, if you are a medium, if you are a Reiki master, if you are waking up to your abilities, if you're already using your abilities, but you want to grow them more, you want to run your business, all of these things, I created this group to connect with you, to share with you, for support, for sisters, for like-minded people to be together to do that. And I also love to create materials. I'm a school teacher. I used to be a school teacher, so I love creating classes and courses and education and things like that. So I have lots of resources for you to awaken your intuition, to develop your psychic abilities, to grow your soul, as I like to say. So someone was posting in the group today about Christianity, and I love this topic because so many women who come to see me, this inevitably comes up. So I'm a clairvoyant healer. So what I do in a session with someone is I close my eyes, I say a prayer, I adjust in, and then I see images and pictures and spirit and your guides and your energy and your aura and your chakras. They're telling me something about you and what you're currently going through and what's happening for you. And a lot of that energy or these belief systems or these things that are coming up to be purged or healed, they're what we call pictures in the psychic world. So we're born into a family, we're taught certain things, we're told certain things, and we develop these energy pictures about who we are, who they are, how life is, what we can and can't do. Now, Everybody is dealing with religious pictures, but if you were born into a particularly religious family, then of course you have them like tenfold, right? So there's really easy, easy ways to take care of that. So one thing I do is I do clearings for people, energy clearings and healings. And it's super easy. You can use a powerful, potent clearing statement from Access Consciousness, a super powerful tool that is PodPoc. It's a clearing statement that says, we're going to get at the point of creation and the point of destruction and everything in between. And it goes around your conscious mind to just get to the energy. So I've learned lots of ways to clear and to heal and to complete karma. And this is one of the fastest, quickest, easiest ways, I promise you. So Everything that brings up, would you be willing to uncreate and destroy it? Good, bad, right, wrong, pod, puck, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. That's what it is. It's that clearing statement. Everywhere that you're still hiding out and pretending that you're not as powerful or as psychic or as witchy as you really are, would you be willing to uncreate and destroy all that energy? Good, bad, right, wrong, pod, puck, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyonds. Everywhere that you have pictures or energy in your space around Christianity and religion, everywhere that you are feeling like it's not safe to be psychic or intuitive or use your gifts, or everywhere where you're still harboring the wound of the witch or the pain of the past that says, you can't be a powerful woman, you can't be psychic, you can't be a medium, you can't be a Reiki healer, watch out, that's the devil's work. Would you be willing to uncreate and destroy all of that energy? Good, bad, right, wrong, pod, puck, all nine, shorts, boys, and beyond. So I'll post a link below to the clearing statement and something you can use all the time. But if you want to go deeper into that, I invite you to come have a session with me because here's what I'm a genius at. I'm amazing at being able to laser right in and help you get really clear on your abilities. What are your psychic gifts? What is your flavor of your purpose and why you're here? So if you're still wondering that and you're not sure, come see me for a clairvoyant healing. The other thing is, is if you're bumping up against that ceiling of like, okay, I, I realize I'm a psychic or a medium or empathic or intuitive and I have these abilities, but I'm still not showing up because I'm hiding, because I'm afraid of what my family will say, or I'm afraid of what the culture will say, because really underneath it all, you just have all this past life memory of being burned 
the stake as a witch or you're just afraid that if you really haul off and rock and roll and speak your truth, nobody's going to love you. Everybody's going to reject you. And ultimately, you know, it's going to be annihilation. You're going to be killed. So if these are things that are coming up for you, come see me for a clairvoyant healing because these are the types of things that we work on clearing the energy out of your space that's holding you back from rocking and rolling and being who you are and what you came here to be. Because the way that I see it from where I sit is that the women are waking up. We're waking up. And as part of waking up, we're waking up to being empathic. We're waking up to being mediums, to being psychics, to being Reiki masters, to being healers. And it has different flavors depending on who we are, but we're waking up. And so we need to really clear and complete and let go of all those old paradigms, pictures, energies, karma, whatever you want to call it, that keeps us playing small, keeps us trying to fit in, keeps us sacrificing our dreams or our unique gifts because we're trying to have security, because we want that paycheck or we want that health care. So I believe that time is now. And this is the charge and this is what's happening. So this is what this group is for. It's a support place to have us be like, okay, we're waking up. So how do I step into my power and fully use it to my advantage? And how do I make money doing that? And so that's what I teach people how to do. Because once upon a time, I was just a public school teacher, you know, and I didn't even know my incredible ability. I just had a client say to me yesterday, I think you're the best in the world at what you do, Rachel. Like, I wouldn't have even known my psychic abilities if I hadn't taken that leap. So that's why I created this group, is to create a space for you to really create that leap for yourself too, whatever that looks like. So if you're joining us live, please say hello, please like it. I can't see that you're here. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you're working with, let me know because I love to share with you and I love to hear your wisdom and what's working for you. What are you creating? What are you up to? What are your gifts? How are they showing up for you in the world? Let's share in that. So what's really rocking for me. What's been so awesome is just really helping women laser in on what their gifts are. And they're so unique and so beautiful. And so many of us have our different fingerprint or flavor of psychic gifts. But I know for sure that the way that they start to show up is through being empathic. I think that's the first step to awakening. You start being empathic. You realize you're feeling what other people are feeling. So my message to the empaths is you don't have to always take on everyone else's pain. You don't have to feel tired and exhausted. You don't have have to have shitty boundaries that make people like suck your blood like a vampire. So that's why you'll hear me in this group talk about my women's intuition toolbox over and over and over. And you'll hear me sharing the basic tools for grounding, running energy, setting your auric boundary and filling back in. If you are a healer, if you are a teacher, if you are an empath, if you are around people, if you are working in environments that are super, you know, energetic, sensitive, lots of people, things going on, you've got to as an awakened woman you've got to learn how to be grounded you've got to learn how to be in your body you've got to learn how to strengthen those auric boundaries you've got to learn how to fill back in when we ground we release our energy down to the earth to transmute it and we need to intentionally choose what we're going to fill back in with or all that old crap will just come right back in okay so these are the tools that i teach because if you are an empath or you're working with someone, you have to root down deep first before you can really go high and access those higher chakras. So if you want to be a healer, if you want to read auras, if you want to be psychic, you've got to work on coming within into the body and really grounding down deep first. I believe that we have to have a practice. We have to have tools. We have to have something that we're really doing in our own life to be in integrity. So if you really want to start to hang your shingle up and be a healer, which you're invited to the party, everyone gets to, I totally am here to support women and just like start your business. You know, it was the greatest thing I ever did. Now I have a daughter who's a year and a half and I can work from home. She's sleeping in the other room and it's super beautiful. But you've got to start with a practice. So yoga is great, all that stuff. But the reason I teach this is because it's the like 101 psychic healing. How to heal yourself. Healer, heal thyself. We have to start with healing ourself. So if you were to come to Boulder, Colorado and go to the psychic schools that are here in town, these steps that I give away to you for free in my toolbox are what you would learn. When I started my psychic training, this is what you learn. You learn how to anchor in behind the third eye, which is the command center, the Ajna chakra, the place of neutrality. You learn how to imagine yourself being grounded from the root chakra all the way to the center of the earth. You intend to clean out and let that energy go. 
You clean your energy space with golden soapy bubbles. You set your auric boundary. You play with that boundary because so many empaths that I know, the reason that you're like, oh my God, I'm inundated with everyone's energy is because your aura is like way far out. And if your aura is super way far out, then everybody down the block is coming into your space. So play with bringing your energy closer, usually about an arm's length all the way around and above and below feels really nurturing for us. But then when we're out in nature, we're doing healing work, expand your energy out as big as the universe. So playing with our energy, intentionally working with our energy is one of the fastest ways to becoming psychic. So I love Reiki. I love yoga. I love mantras. I love crystals. I wear all kinds of stones. I love all these things, dancing, praying, meditating. But one of the best things I've found to handle the psychic awakening, the empathic energy, the medium qualities that start turning on for women who are like, holy cow, what's happening, is to work with your energy consciously, tuning into that. Okay, here I am in my body, breathing. Hello, body. I have a body. I'm not a body. I'm a spirit. Is my where is my spirit? Is it out of my body? Let's bring it in. Hello, body. Grounding to the earth. Hello, earth. Running earth energy. Running cosmic energy. Checking in with your auric boundary, strengthening it, filling it in with a color that feels nurturing for you. Don't go out there in that world without filling in your auric bubble, making sure you've cleaned it and repaired all the holes and then put it as a color you want or else then you're going to be like, oh, I'm exhausted and I'm, you know, an empath and, and therefore now I'm a victim. So I think that's a lot of what I start to see people doing is it's like this empathic energy starts to make us feel like victims because we're like, oh, I'm so exhausted from people. I just feel, you know, I take on all this energy and then I don't know what to do. So work with your own energy, healer, heal thyself. And then we fill back in. So once we've grounded out and we've released foreign energy, other entity energy, past energy, we create a big golden sun above our head. We put a magnet in the center and we call all of our energy back to present time and we fill it in with colors and qualities that feel nurturing and then we pop it and we allow it to fill up our space and down into our body and fill up every chakra and down our arms and out our hands and we are consciously, intentionally channeling energy and chi and filling in with our own vital energy. We're being senior in our space. We're declaring that our energy is the predominant energy in our space. The reason we feel at the effect of other people and we feel tired is because their energy comes in through our poorest aura. If you're drinking, if you're smoking pot, if you're not working with your own energy, if you've got holes or tears or someone energetically whacks you, you don't have a good auric boundary, you're not cleaning and clearing your space, all their energy filters in your mom your dad, your brother, your husband, your kids, whomever, and you don't feel good. You feel overwhelmed. You feel confused. You don't feel good. When you sit down and you release all that to the earth where she will transmute it, and then you consciously call your energy back and you feel good, you are feeling like you. You are strengthening your boundary. You are determining that you are going to be the predominant energy in your space, your senior in your space. That is psychic power. That is presence. That is being embodied. And then your chakras get healings. Your chakras get cleared and balanced. Your energy channels get clear and balanced. And then more of your divine information can channel in through your crown. If you've got everybody else's crap in your space and you're at the effect of everybody else and you're feeling exhausted and tired, then you can't hear your own guidance. But if you're clearing that out and setting the space and tuning in and tapping in and getting turned on, then you're connected and then you know how you feel. So get present in the body, behind the eyes, and start to ground and run your energy. And I'll share all of that with you. I give it to you for free in my Women's Intuition Toolbox. So this space is really an invitation for you to 
be empowered in your divine feminine that is awakening and evolving at all times and be connected to sisters because we're waking up and we're all coming into our empathic intuitive healing abilities and to step into that and to start to claim it and to say it and to be your radical wild feminine self and to start to let go of the crap that you're hanging on to and the relationships with those shitty people and to start to set good boundaries and to go for your dreams and to actually be like this is who i am this is what I'm here for and I'm not putting up with the shit and the crap anymore because I'm on fire I'm awakened I'm ready I'm here on purpose and I'm gonna start with being really in integrity and having a practice where I am tuning into my own energy and I know how I feel so that I can be really clear in the rest of my day and that's what this group is about. That is my invitation to you. So all of you are welcome. All is welcome. Every religion, every background, everything. So long as you're open-minded and so long as you're having a practice, something that you're doing to work with your energy to clear your energy, Reiki, yoga, meditating, walks in nature, all of those things are good. And then share that with us here, what's working for you, what's helping you. But also I invite you to try on what I'm talking about here. If you're empathic, if you're intuitive, if you're waking up your psychic abilities if you don't have them under control get grounded get in the body work with your own energy start to bring in earth energy and cosmic and all that stuff and i walk you through it in my toolbox okay so thank you oh hi candace goodness i love you well thank you i love you too <laughs> And I'm so, so glad that you're here. Thank you for joining, for being part of this. I have summoned you to me. I have created this space and called all the women, the people who are waking, the witches, the healers, the priestesses, the, the high council, because I'm a clairvoyant healer and I do psychic work and I have medium abilities. And that's crazy. Like, I didn't used to think that. I didn't know that. I wasn't a child who saw dead people. I used to be a public school teacher. Do you know how scary it was for me when I first started owning these abilities? I completely hid this part of my life from people. And so I've walked that path. I know what it's like to develop your intuition. I know what it's like to start feeling empathic. I know what it's like to deal with the culture and Christianity and religion who's saying, you can't do that. You can't be that way. It's a sin. You're not good. It's not okay. You better hide. You're going to be killed. So all of those things have been part of my path that I've learned how to manage and still show up in my power and my truth and live it and be honest and have integrity. And so you found out by accident, Char, that, uh, oh wait, folk music. I love folk music, grounding and meditating. That's beautiful. Yeah. Whatever helps to get us anchored in because there's so much that pulls us out, so many distractions. So it's like, we've got to be vigilant warriors. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Love hearing my voice and seeing my face. I love seeing you too. Thank you for being here. Jennifer and I had an awesome reading the other day. So thank you so much for joining. If you didn't hear the whole thing, go back and listen because I'm talking a lot about like how we pop the pictures and the energy keeping us down, how we really stand in our power, why it's so important to use the tools that I invite you to use. So thank you so much for joining with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for contributing. Thank you for letting me know that you're here and commenting. And I'm going to leave you with my toolbox. So if you haven't done that, please listen to the guided meditation, read through the PDF, get some of the books that I share that are my favorite on intuition and let us know how it's going letting go of being so scared and taking some risks let us know what you're doing to own your awakened power and to step more fully into your healing abilities and how you're letting go of security okay that's what I want to hear so thank you so much you guys namaste bye-bye